Hey uh, YouTube, I'm out here working on my uh, redneck lawn chair I'm building. There it is. Um, I picked these up for free at school. Um, these are pretty nice pillow block bearings. They're a bit stiff. I'll give them a couple pumps of grease and get them working. They're not worn or anything. Well, there's a bit of play, but I don't even care. Enjoying a nice cup of coffee. I got a Honda... Uh, what is it? I think it's a Honda 50 exhaust pipe on there, and me, man, it sounds pretty mean. It, there's a lot of back pressure, so this motor revs up when you want it to. Um, I might, I might use this lawn chair until it breaks. I got four more of these that I can use, so we'll see. Um, I got my wheel horse steering wheel. I put an MTD one on it because it, I broke this one taking it off. I got steering, all the steering on this. Excuse me. <coughs> Is off of a uh, Huffy riding lawnmower, which is pretty neat. Um, I'm not gonna mount these tonight. I'm gonna go to Princess Auto tomorrow and see if I can get an axle. I gotta check if these are one inch too, because if they're not one inch and they're an inch, well, they look like an inch. I'd probably say they're gonna be an inch. Yep, they're an inch. Right on the money. But. Anyways, I'm going to go to Princess Auto tomorrow and see how much they want for one of the axles and some couple hubs for the sprocket and disc brake. If not, I'll just make some stuff because i got lots of stuff at spare. Just my heater tiny bit. There we go. But I think this will be pretty sick. I mean, I, the steering wheel's right there. Like, there's my knee. And once I, once I put my butt all the way back in the chair, my knees go down. Um, it's going to be pretty sweet, one hand steering, you know. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to have a suicide brake handle either on this side or that side, but I think a brake pedal is better and it, they're quite easy to make. Gas pedals are easy to make. My steering linkage is, there's like no play in it. It's all, well, besides the steering wheel is not attached, there is, like, it's got, it's really tight, that's good. Um. So yeah, um, I got a Honda, Honda GX160 underneath here, and I'm gonna do the same thing, pug, one pug like did with the chair. I'm gonna, yours go forward, mine are gonna, mine's gonna go back after I uh, trim that muffler and re-weld it, because there's no way it can go forward where, where, with where I put my engine. So it's gonna be, I like how the engine sticks out the back. It's going to be right on the point of balance where the axle is going to go. So I'll be able to do wheelies and stuff like that. It'll be pretty sweet. Now, I might not use the differential. Oh, we got a little spider there. Where'd he go? Oh, he's gone. I would have burned him on the heater, but he's gone. Um, it's going to be pretty sweet. Should be a wheelie machine. Um, yeah, but uh, I haven't decided yet on... Uh, how much money I want to put into this right so far I put nothing into it besides my motor that thing cost me a couple hundred bucks well over the years a couple hundred bucks I was gonna sell it for a couple hundred bucks but I'm gonna keep it put that run that Honda pipe on it and it'll be pretty sweet um, yeah so this this will be pretty cool um, I gotta get some steel and I'll make some tie rod ends um, this, anyways uh, Better drink this before it goes cold. Hmm. It's at a nice temperature right now. Here's my old one. I just cut that off because I needed the piece. I might use that. These things are quiet, so I might weld up all the holes and throw this on something else. Like a two-stroke or a loud mini bike or something because they're quiet mufflers. Um. I got these hard tires. I'm probably not going to run them. I'll probably get some dolly cart tires from someplace. I find all kinds of crap laying around. I know a guy that's got tons of junk. He'd be happy to give me some to make something work. So yeah, um, I'll have an update on this once I have a rolling frame and the steering works. Then I'll get everything going. But my plan is I don't want to buy chain. I'm going to have to buy a clutch. But I don't want to buy chain. I don't want to buy sprockets. I don't want to buy disc brakes. I don't want to buy brakes. I already have all that stuff in the cardboard box. I got some discs in there, some more steering parts. I got a bit of chain in there. Don't know if it's long enough, but we'll see. 
I got my slow moving vehicle sign to strap to the back of the chair. Um, I got some miscellaneous steel. I got more steel down there. Probably can't see it. I got tons of stuff, tons of materials. Now, if this works out good, I was going to make something else, but uh, I'll keep you guys uh, updated on that. Um, yeah. I'll have to get out here more often and start making crap. I haven't been, all this week, I haven't felt like doing anything. I know it's bad. I feel really lazy. But I'm either going to steal this clutch for the meantime and put it on there and just, you know, swap them over because this thing is going to be good for the slush and the snow because I got some pretty good tires. And this thing's going to be good for in the summer. Or I might sell this. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I mean, I can get 500 bucks for this, no problem, if I repainted it. Made the seat look nice and uh, gave the motor a coat of paint because it's a rep. It's a little Indian made by rep. Now, people say they're not made by rep, but yeah, they are made by rep. Rep is actually stamped into the tag on this and it says Bull Indian underneath the seat. Um, I didn't get my brake working on this, so I'm going to convert this thing to disc brakes too. I've been looking on Kijiji, a little website where people sell stuff. And I saw two go-kart frames. They wanted 80 bucks a piece. I might go pick one of them up. One or two. One had really, really nice big disc brakes. Almost too nice to put on that because they'd lock it right up. But the one had an axle. That interested me more because it was a one-inch axle. It had hubs. I think it had three-bolt hubs. Or maybe four. But that'll... Uh, three-bolt hubs or four-bolt hubs will help me out a lot. Now... As far as uh, where I'm going to ride these, I have no clue. I'm not sure if the neighbors are going to like them at the field. But with this exhaust, it's super quiet. I'm going to weld up this little hole in here. And uh, just so you have a little pipe coming out. I mean, I'm not making this thing for power. I'm just making it for bombing around on getting from point A to point B. Maybe make up a little wagon for it or my trailer. I just want to pull stuff. We'll go back and forth from work, really. i got to cut that off and fuse it with a lighter. I don't know if I can do that or not, but we'll see. I might just cut it off. If you have any tips or little pointers or something for me, let me know. Um, if you have any requests, uh, requests, ugh, can't speak right now, requests of uh, either, you know, like a review on my wheel horses or starting something up or, you know, anything. I'm, I haven't been making many videos right now. Um, I gotta, I'm getting my computer fixed tonight. I gotta reinstall my camera software. See, it's only 650. Can't even see that. It's only 659, so I got all night. Um, I'm gonna go inside soon and fix her up and get my computer going. Uh, I'm gonna clean these up a little bit right now, but not bad for free. They, they're even greasable. Okay, YouTubers, I'll uh, talk to you later and uh, have some more updates for you and hopefully some more uh, cool stuff. I don't really have a lot of money right now, so uh, not much has been happening. Might have to go to the pawn shop and get rid of some crap. We'll see. Okay, bye.